Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. In last video, we talked about PCM, pulse code modulation, a method used to convert analog signals such as a telephone call to digital signals. PCM is the basis for understanding today's topic, digital signal zero or DS zero, which is fundamental key for understanding digital telephony. For a typical telephone call, the analog sound is digitized with the PCM method at 8,000 samples per second, using 8-bit depth or resolution. The result is 64 kilobits per second. This digital signal rate, known as DS0, makes up the base digital unit of the telephone system. Each analog voice call gets converted into a DS0 signal at the central office of the PSTN, or public switched telephone network. The DS0 rate also forms the basis for T-carrier, E-carrier, Sonnet, or SDH, which we will talk about in a separate video. Here is the table of four common types of T-carrier and E-carrier lines. In T1 line, there are 24 channels and each channel handles 1 DS0. 24 times 64 kilobits per second, thus T1 line maximum data throughput is about 1.5 megabits per second. In T3 line, there are 672 channels, or it consists of 28 T1 lines. Thus, T3 line maximum data throughput is about 45 megabits per second. T-carrier technologies are used in North America and Asia. In some other regions, like in Europe, a similar technology, E-carrier, is used instead. E1 and E3 are T1 and T3 equivalents, but there are some differences. In E1 line, there are 32 channels. The data rate is about 2 megabits per second. In E3 line, there are 512 channels, or it consists of 16 E1 lines. E3 line maximum throughput is about 34 megabits per second. When you calculate this data throughput rates with your calculator, you might find the math is wrong because they are not exactly the number you expect. For example, T3 line is 28 multiples of T1 line, and the result should be 43.232 megabits per second, not 44.736 megabits per second. The reason is simple. Overhead and signaling data are also calculated for the throughput rate. And when higher level lines are used, less overhead is required. Thus, it's not just a pure math. In T1 or E carrier technologies, time division multiplexing is used, and a physical Cabling media is a mix of UTP, STP, coaxial cable, fiber optics, and microwave links. Small business once relied on the T1 lines as their primary method of internet access before the business class DSL became popular. T1 and T3 leased lines are very expensive and sometimes fractional line is used. Even so, they are not suitable for residential users, especially there's many other high-speed options available. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time. Oh, don't forget 
to subscribe.